What is up guys? I'm Edgar and welcome to my channel. I have been trying to film that intro for like 30 minutes and I finally got it kind of so I'm going with it. Okay so I love making videos even though I've been slacking like hardcore for a while. But aside from making videos I also like photography or taking photos or pictures or blah, you know what I mean. Okay so I'm not trying to say I'm the best photographer or trying to brag but I don't care when you're good you're good. I'm gonna let you know that if you're good, it's not bragging. I'm just joking. I've had people in the past ask me, how do you take photos like that? Or how do I take photos like that? So if you're someone that wants to get into photography or you already take photos and you wanna get better at it, I'm gonna give you some tips today. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so one of the first things you wanna do is before you even start taking photos, go into your camera settings and switch it from JPEG to RAW. When it comes to photos, RAW format is way better than JPEG. It is a larger file, but you can do way more with it. You have more data, which means you're able to edit it more. So pretty much, you don't lose quality. Another tip is angles, like 90 degree angle, get it? <laughs> I'm not funny. You can't just grab the camera and just boom, 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 boom. Don't. If photography was just about snapping a picture, everybody would do it. Well, I mean, people already do think they're photographers just because they take a picture with their iPhone, but that's what I'm saying, stand out. I got the new iPhone 10 portrait mode. I'm a photographer, trust me. When you're trying to look for a good angle, it's not always going to be like straight in front of you, so you have to like squat, pop a squat, bend your knees a little, it works. Get angles that other people don't get. I was pretty much laying down on the grass the other day to take a picture and I stepped on dog poop. Okay, one of the top things you have to know is lighting. Nobody wants to look at a picture that looks like shit. I feel like lighting is one of the things that most people don't really know. Or I might be wrong, but that's what I think. I've seen people's photos and just been like, what is that? If you are indoors and you don't have a lighting set up, lamps, whatever, just move close to a window. You want to have the lighting in front of your subject as opposed to behind them, unless you're like trying to take a picture of a cool silhouette. Okay, this helps out with your lighting too. Go shoot during golden hour. That's considered like one of the best times to take pictures because of the lighting or like sunrise. Another good tip I think is make sure you have a good background. You wanna have something cool looking. Like if you're shooting indoors, you don't want your dirty underwear in the corner of your picture. Okay, this next thing you don't really need, but I recommend it is this 50 millimeter lens because it's awesome at taking photos. If you ever wonder how you get that blurry background, that's how. It has an f-stop of 1.8, so compared to 3.5, a 1.8 is gonna have a way blurrier background than a 3.5 would. Okay, so those were just a few tips that I have today for you. They weren't that many tips, I guess, but I still hope they helped you out. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like, show it to someone, share it, I don't know. Support me. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media links down below. Well, that is all, so I will see you guys later.